Hi guys. It is turning out to be a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful midwinter day here in the end times in this undisclosed swamp uh, on the collapsing planet. And so it is a beautiful Monday morning here. Another beautiful Monday morning, and that would be Monday. January 18th, 2021. So if you have been, uh, I'm sure if you have been watching or listening to the news, we all know what today is. It is, of course, Blue Monday. It is Blue Monday, officially recognized as the single most depressing day of the year. I guess the middle Monday morning in January is the most depressing day of the entire year. So uh, I'm going down the litany of things that uh, depress me today. And uh, one of them, just, just one of them, is clueless fucking moron, uh, holier-than-thou, self-righteous breeder doomers. I've, I've, I've fucking had it up to here with, with, with these goddamn self-righteous breeders. And uh, so anyway, uh, I guess I am going to dedicate today's long overdue rant uh, to, the, to these fucking people calling themselves doomers and, and, and then sit here and act like people who don't breed are the self-righteous ones. And uh, so I don't want to, I got people walking by on this beautiful day. So uh, anyway, guys, what I am gonna do is, uh, I, I'm, I'm simply, I'm gonna send this out to, uh, to uh, Billy Bob. So Billy Bob, I'm, I'm just gonna share some uh, an email thread I had with my buddy Billy Bob uh, yesterday. Uh, so Billy Bob, I've known this guy, I don't know, for a couple of years, and he has always been, you know, a very nice, you know, a nice guy, a professional, a gentleman, uh, you know, he clearly is not a, a, a clueless moron uh, on every level except possibly one. So uh, when I get this email from, from Billy Bob yesterday, I, you know, I just take it on face value. So I'm just so, this is what uh, Billy Bob says to me. Uh, Dear Hamba, starting out this year, I am in an inquiry mode. Uh, the angle I will be exploring, I guess, in 2021 is how might we avoid making a bad situation worse? I would very much like to hear your ideas on this theme. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I, I'm not intending to make uh, these conversations public. I would just really love to learn what you, all caps, what you think and feel about the subject. So this is very fair. I, th th this nice guy uh, who is uh, d d just coming out here asking me uh, how I feel about this subject. He, he is asking me an honest, heartfelt question. So I just give him my honest, heartfelt answer. Uh, I told him I would be happy to, uh, you know, to talk about this with him, but you know my two-word answer to your question. Don't breed. And of course, when I said that, I forgot that Billy Bob was a doomer breeder. So after telling me he would very much like to hear from me on this theme, and I would just really love to learn what you think and feel about this subject. This was the 
answer I got from my answer back to him. Don't breed? Question mark, exclamation mark, question mark. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Really? Three question marks. What part of overshoot and inevitable die-off don't you get? Do you honestly believe there is any chance whatsoever that billions of people won't die in the coming decades or two, regardless of however many or few babies are born this decade? Big Mom and Nature has one hell of a population reduction strategy that will unfold this decade and next, and it requires no participation, consciously or unconsciously. All right, so Billy Bob wants to know what part of overshoot and inevitable die-off does Hambone Little Tail not get? Uh, my response to Billy Bob was, I am more sure of it than you are which is why all you can do at this point to personally reduce the suffering is by keeping your pecker in your pants. And uh, so I sent that one off. And uh, let's see, this is part of what I got back. Uh... The idea of people, quote, reducing suffering, unquote, by not having kids is just plain silly. Shit's going to go downhill way too fast for that. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Uh, I see arguing for voluntary population reduction similarly to the argument that everyone should become vegan. It is demonstrably true. It would make a ginormous difference, and it is theoretically possible, and it is totally admirable for those who choose to not have children or eat meat. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but if I and everyone I know and love are likely to be dead in 20 to 30 years, and we're going to talk about this more in a minute, it just feels better for me to not be judgmental towards those who make different ethical choices than I do. So, all right, this is Billy Bob, who it just feels better for this self-righteous fuckface to not be judgmental towards those who make different ethical choices than he did, you know. He made the ethical choice not to keep his pecker in his pants. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see. The idea that... It, meaning the idea that not breeding reduces future suffering is weak on evidential historic grounds. Yes, blah, blah, blah. But again, the real purpose of antinatalism as a moral position is to feel good about yourself when you look in the mirror. Yes, and uh, and that's about half of his comment. And uh, here is my response. Billy Bob, I did not realize you were looking for an argument or even a debate. You asked me a fucking question, and I gave you a fucking honest answer, whether you not whether or not you think it is quote silly. I really don't appreciate your snotty attitude. That said, I will be glad to make it part of a lively debate at some future point. However, if you promise to be a gentleman about it, on second thought, you pompous ass guilty breeder, go fuck yourself. Goodbye. And, uh... 
So I, I think I have gotten uh, Billy Bob uh, out of my life. Uh, you know, and, and, and this thing, it, it just came out of, it just came out of fucking nowhere. Uh, you know, the guy sends me, uh, uh, the guy sends me an email. He asks my opinion on something, says he really wants to hear it. And boy, did I touch a fucking nerve with this. You know, it's just, I, I, I just forgot about the, the, this goddamn uh, canyon between breeders and, and, and non-breeders. Uh, you know, where, where to even start with this? Uh, let, let's start about looking in the mirror. Uh, you're, you're goddamn straight, Billy Bob. Uh, every time I look in the fucking mirror, uh, I pet, I pat myself on the back for, uh, my decision, uh, not exactly to keep my pecker in my pants, but to, uh, get a goddamn vasectomy at age 22, and which, it, which is hands down the, uh, the, the, the single biggest, uh, you know, the greatest decision I have ever made in my entire life, bar none was not to bring children uh, in, in, into this fucking world. You know, uh, it, it, the, the singular decision. Uh, fucking, and, and I just want to talk about, you know, there's, there's been some confusion, uh, I guess, that Hambone Little Tail is an anti-natalist, and what is he talk, where, what is this sh shit coming out of this fucker's mouth? Uh, the real purpose of anti-natalism as a moral position is to feel good about yourself when you look in the mirror. You know, shut up, you pompous fucking clueless motherfucking uh, moron breeder. Uh, do you know how fucking ignorant you sound? Uh, but, but I, you know, I just want to state for the record that if, you know, if, 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 if we were living in some fucking leave it to beaver fairy tale, okay, uh, I would not be an anti-natalist. I have no moral position one way or another uh, on, on people choosing to have children if we lived in, you know, in a fucking leave it to beaver fantasy land. This ain't the fucking Brady Bunch. Okay? It ain't the fucking Brady Bunch. And, and, and Billy Bob uh, uh, understands this goddamn well. The, the, the reason that antinatalism uh, has become a moral position has nothing to do with, with the concept of antinatalism, you know, up until uh, the, the, the past few decades. Uh, this, it's... <laughs> This is not a, these statements are, are, are not contradictory uh, to say that you are not, quote, anti-natalist from a moral perspective, and then uh, right next to that statement say that to bring a child in, onto this planet uh, at this point it is morally reprehensible. There is one way to reduce suffering. There is one fucking way to reduce human suffering that uh, we that, that we can still do. Uh, I I agree with with Billy Bob's no fucking shit Sherlock uh, conclusion that. You know, from the big picture, whether or not uh, a, a few uh, eco-Nazi, collapsitarian, doomers, whatever, uh, exercise their personal God-given right to keep their fucking pecker in their pants, 
uh, is, uh, you know, you know, guys, I, I can't, I, I can't believe I'm, I'm, I'm even having this conversation, insulting my intelligence. That, 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 the, the that, the few babies that we're going to be talking about that uh, as a product of not being born uh, because of people looking at the big picture and not bringing a child into the, the world isn't going to make a fucking bit of difference to this planet. Uh, this fucking planet is going down uh, in... Uh, <laughs> And, and we all know it. This planet's going to hell in a handbasket. Billy Bob knows this as well as I do. Uh, and so that is why there is one consumer and lifestyle choice, or this is a lifestyle choice, that we, by we meaning humans and meaning humans that are still of breeding age, there is one thing we can do to reduce suffering, and that is not to commit child abuse on an unborn child. It will reduce the suffering by, of any child coming in uh, to this hellscape uh, known as the 21st century. A child who is never born cannot suffer. It's that simple. I, I don't know what this clueless fucking moron uh, does not understand about the, the fucking statement, a child who is never born will never experience suffering. A child who is never born uh, will never eat one of our fellow earthlings. And uh, j just a quick aside on this veganism thing. Uh, I actually, uh, if I had had this conversation uh, with this clueless fucking moron, which obviously I'm not going to have, I was going to bring up uh, the, uh, as kind of a side note, the, this whole argument on veganism. I am not a breeder, but I do eat my fellow earthlings. I've had many rants on this. There is one reason that I continue to eat my fellow earthlings is that is because I am clearly not as spiritually evolved as, as vegans. Okay, I completely cheer on any vegan uh, taking the moral position, uh, the moral ethical position that they choose not to directly eat their fellow earthlings if your fellow earthling is described as another species of animal. But I'm not going down that one. I, I, I clearly uh, fucking uh, admit uh, that I am not uh, as spiritually evolved as you fucking vegans. Uh, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm guilty as fucking charged. If I had never been fucking born, I never would have eaten one. I, I would have reduced any suffering I, I have ever caused uh, to any one of my fellow earthlings is because I was born. All right, let's cut the crap. That's the fucking reason uh, that that anybody on the every single one of us, any suffering that we have inflicted on ourselves, uh, on on other people, on our fellow earthlings, on our own children and grandchildren, whatever, is the fact that we were born. We are fucking humans. You know, I've, I've told this story before about, uh, you know, about this woman down in Ecuador uh, that I was running around with. Uh, you know, she's a beef eating, uh, like uh, SUV driving, 
uh, planet eating whatever you know down there in Ecuador and, and I it, and I got into it uh, with her you know poking fun at her mostly and uh, she said dude shut the fuck up uh, I am not a breeder I can eat fucking T-bone steak and drive a fucking Hummer till the day I die and when I die my the carnage I am inflicting uh, upon this planet dies with me. And I, you know, this this dude Billy Bob. I was sitting around uh, listening to one uh, to a video. Him talking uh, in, in a video. It was like this hour long video. You know, talking droning on and on and on about the, all, all of the no shit Sherlock. Uh, stuff about why we're so fucked. Just going down the laundry list, kind of a we are so fucked 101, I guess, uh, for people just coming down uh, the, the, this rabbit hole. You know, it was like nursery school uh, for me. Uh, but, but, you know, I'm cheering on the man for, you know, for bringing this information out for the people just going down there. And in the middle of this hour-long video with all his fucking charts and graphs and, 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 and photos of destruction, he just, like, drops in the middle of this hour-long video. He says, uh, he points out, I, this guy's about my age. He's, I think he's probably in his 60s. Uh, he just kind of kind of flippantly, cavalierly points out in the, in, the, in the middle of this video that his own grandchildren are not going to, uh, to live to be half the age that he is. And he just, you know, and, and I've heard these other Doomer breeders say this, how, how they could just, 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 you know, just say that. Uh, with about the same amount of emotional intensity that uh, I need to take out the fucking garbage tonight. You, you, you know, it's just, it, it's just, it, it, and he didn't even stop there. It, it, it was the most poignant and jarring uh, statement that, that he made the entire fucking hour-long video. This man sitting there. The, the, this grandfather, which means obviously that he's also a father, uh, d just uh, pointing out that he doesn't believe his own grandchildren uh, are, are, are going to make it to, let's say, age 30. And, and the dude is probably right, you know, implying that they're going to, uh, you know, die some horrible, painful, bloody death, which, and he's probably right. You know, how we can just sit there, how these fucking uh, self-righteous, clueless fucking moron breeders can just sit there and, and, and talk like this and then just move on uh, to the next subject. You know, how many times have I said, you know, what, one of the main reasons that uh, my decision uh, not to breed uh, is the number one best decision I've ever fucking made is so I don't have to sit there and, and, and make such a statement. I do not have the, the fucking blood of my grandchildren uh, on my hands because I don't have any fucking grandchildren. Uh, you know, uh, he's implying, I guess, by making this statement, and it's not, and I'm not just picking on Billy Bob. Uh, you hear this shit all the fucking time. Uh, th these cavalier, flippant statements from parents and grandparents. Uh, these doomers who understand how fucked we are. You know, I guess he's implying that the reason his uh, his own grandchildren. Are, uh, are 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 probably going to die some horrible fucking unnatural death, uh, b between now and 2050, uh, it is because I don't know climate change, resource wars, whatever the the usual list of suspects. I got some fucking news for you, Billy Bob.
and, and, and all you fucking breeders, uh, I don't give a fuck if you're down here in the Doomosphere or not. The reason you're fucking little bundles of joy, your kids and your grandchildren uh, are going to die these horrible deaths is because they were fucking born. It's because you couldn't keep your fucking pecker in your pants. That's the reason your fucking grandchildren are going to die horrible deaths. They were fucking born. You had, you had one way, motherfucker. You had one fucking way to reduce the suffering of your own fucking children and grandchildren. That was to keep your fucking pecker in your pants. You're guilty as fucking sin. You've got the fucking blood of your dead grandchildren dripping all over your fucking doomer little hands. I, I, I'm sick and tired of this fucking bullshit from you self-righteous pricks sitting here uh, calling uh, calling those of us, uh, the few of us, uh, standing up to this shit and, and, and spelling out the fucking truth on this planet. There's one fucking way to reduce suffering on this planet, and you fucking blew it, dude, and you're guilty as hell, and you fucking know it, and, and by trying to push your fucking own personal guilt uh, 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 about your own grandchildren's death uh, on, on people like me, it ain't gonna fucking wash, motherfucker. It ain't gonna fucking wash. You know, I, I was thinking, uh, I was listening to this song by Michelle Shocked last night. I love this this line in this song. Uh, it, it's about where when she was accidentally, uh, she and her and her friends when she was a kid uh, started a fire uh, by accident uh, it, and burned down the neighbor's barn and uh, and the volunteer fire department came to put out the fire and she heard one of the uh one of the firemen say this fire wasn't started by an accident this fire was started by a match and that is goddamn straight this fucking fire burning this goddamn planet was started by a match it started by a match Every time someone pulls their fucking pecker out of their pants, unless they're pulling it out uh, in, a, in a goddamn vasectomy clinic. Go fuck yourself, you clueless fucking moron breeders. You're the fucking reason this planet is in suffering mode. And with that, I'm going to take my little, uh, my little child substitute my little natalist substitute little dog out for a walk on uh, Blue Monday, the most depressing day of the year. Bye, guys. <laughs>